What is up everyone, it's your boy Mad Panda, and today we're going to be playing part 13 of Assassin's Creed Revelations. We're going to be taking a break from the main story for just a bit. Uh, I'm wearing this uh, Turkish Assassin Brotherhood uh, armor, which looks pretty awesome. And uh, in my own time, I ended up getting Yusuf's sword and dagger, I think. Yeah, the dagger, I don't know if you guys can see it there, so it's pretty dope. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading much, but you know the holidays came around and uh, I got pretty lazy, you know, from all the freaking food, right? I gained like 30 pounds probably. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. We're gonna be doing the Templar, the Templar uh, lair. I didn't even know there was one in this game. Phantom unlock Vlad the Impaler's prison. Look for the icon on your map. Also, now we gotta look for it. All right. So yeah, apparently it was pretty close. Uh, it was practically in the other side of the map where we found the mission. Uh, it's right there. It's by the wall. I'm kind of interested. Uh, to play this one, Vlad the Impa Impaler's Prison. This dude, I think, was the reason why Dracula exists. Because I think after battles, he would drink, like, the blood of his enemies or something like that. Oh, no, wait. He would actually eat, like, his food with, like, a bunch of impaled uh, people and pikes all over him. And supposedly, like, the road to his castle was just, like, full of dead people and pikes. It was fucked up. It was fucked up. Even though it's fucked up, I'm kind of interested to see what this is. I wonder if we're going to see something like gory shit like that. Alright, so as in 1485, Count Vlad III, tapes of Wallachia, was slain in battle against the Ottomans. Wanting proof, Bayezid the second order, the Vlads had to be brought to the city and locked away. Explore the Sultan's dungeons and locate the final resting place of Vlad the Impaler Tape. Tepes? Tepes? Complete the level in seven minutes. All right. Oh, so that means we gotta rush it then. If it's seven minutes, we can't uh, can't wait any longer. Oh, this is already. Oh God, this is already nightmare fuel right here. Not because it's like scary. It's because it's so freaking dark. Like, the lighting at night, if you guys didn't know, in this game is, like, atrocious. It's not even, like, the settings. It's, like, in the most neutral settings you could have in the game. And this is how it looks at night. Like, just pitch black. If you guys can't see anything, <laughs> just imagine me. I might actually have to use Eagle Vision. Okay, that's not gonna work out. Alright. It's gonna be much worse, actually. I'm honestly really tempted to just put the lighting, like, extremely high. Oh, there, there we go. But at the same time, it kind of adds to the ambience, even though it's dark as shit. I think it was the remaster's fault, Loki. If, if it doesn't start getting, like, a bit more lighter, then I'll definitely, uh... I can't even see that jump, Jesus. Wait, what? Checkpoint reach? Oh, there we go. All right. I mean, it kind of builds to, like, the ominous feel to it, I guess. So I guess I'll keep it this way. But if it gets to a point where I can't see shit, then I'll definitely, uh... I'll definitely just just switch it back to to a higher resolution... Not resolution, lighting. Yeah, because this is, this is crazy. And I thought it was my, 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 uh... Like, my game or something, because, um... It would just get so dark all of a sudden at night and around the city. Like there's these patches of like just black, like blackness. Like we're like it's just pitch black in that certain area. Then you turn the corner and it's back to like regular light. It's it's weird. The lighting in this game is really weird. I don't know. I don't remember it being like that in the original game. I think they kind of messed it up with the remake. I never really had those problems with the previous games though. So that's uh. That's what's kind of getting to me, like... What? Okay, I'm kind of lost. Since, uh... I'm not sure where to go. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. I might have to climb that, so... Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Well, this makes it much easier. I don't know if I'm going to make that jump. Hold up. 
There we go. That's why I have the hook blade. I feel like the hook blade when you jump places it gives you like an extra little boost. I love doing that. Jesus, it's so dark. Somehow inside the cave, it, I was gonna say it's a bit better, the lighting. And then it went to shit back again. <laughs> Yeah, I think for the other missions, I'm looking my- Whoa! I thought that was regular ground for a second. I think for the other missions, I might actually just go and do uh, a higher lighting level, I guess. Oh, Jesus. For a second, I thought I was falling like to like the depths of like hell or some shit right there. How the hell do we get out of here? There we go. God damn, it's so dark. Alright, uh, can I jump this? How far can I jump it? Yeah, this is, uh... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still giving hopes that it might get better, but I don't know. It's really dark. I like the lighting, how, like, the rays of, uh, of light are coming through. Wait, where, where is it coming from? What the heck? There's literally no cracks anywhere. I'm like, how come it doesn't look that light? Outside, in the outside, you know what I mean? Alright, uh... I might low-key actually just... Put the light up. Alright, I think this is much better, but, uh... I might change the settings back to how they were after this mission. I mean, it does look way better. I think I should've started like this. I think I'll only increase the lighting when, uh... When we're doing missions like these, where like it's like really freaking dark. Okay, good thing I increased the lighting right before we arrived to this area because definitely I would have not been able to see anything around this entire room. I think we failed the mission already. Do we move this? Nope. Oh. Because wasn't it supposed to be done like seven minutes? I'm already at like at nine minutes and shit. Climbing? There we go. Oh, now we gotta cross it. Alright. Oh, I thought it was gonna be some, like, weird-ass jump. Alright. It wasn't too bad. Oh, now this is gonna be the weirdest jump. What, they put uh, Vlad's head inside this uh, metal cage? Wait, what's below us? Can we put the camera down? No, I don't think we can. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's just a pitch of, uh, of nothingness. Alright, let me figure out where where to go now. Oh, that's a high-ass climb. Alright. I assume we're supposed to jump on this one. Oh, so we're getting on top of the tower then. All the way on top. Kind of makes my uh, hands sweat pretty, pretty hard. Oh, yep, that's the warning that we didn't complete the mission in time. Oh, oh my god. Dude, imagine if we actually failed it. I would have been mad. Yeah, we failed it. Damn it. Jesus. That was kind of that was, that was kind of risky. I risked it right there, to be honest. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Hold me. Can, can I get closer to the edge? There we go. It, it would suck so bad if... Like time ran out and like the, the 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 mission ends like right when I reached to that final point. That would suck. Oh wait, let me turn around. There we go. Like right here. I don't think it is. Okay, it's just a checkpoint. All right, we're good. It did end here. Oh man, I'm salty now. I'm so salty. We lost by one minute. He's got a sword. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Yo, that actually looks pretty dope. Hopefully the stats are high because supposedly, uh, supposedly uh, Yusuf's sword in the game is the strongest one and the one we had recently. 
and uh I kind of want to change it to that one, Vlad's sword. That shit just looks badass. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, that shit looks freaking dope. Oh, we finished it. It sucks because we were one minute freaking, you know, away from it. Damn it, that sucks. All right, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I did a bit, except for the lighting at the beginning. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be changing the lighting at night every time we do like uh, night missions or or missions in like the catacombs and shit like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.